Hello everyone and welcome to the next video in the Garden Room Build Series. In this video I'm working on the installation and basically all of the final steps that I need to do before I can start working on the plasterboarding. In terms of installation I'm using 75mm thick rock wall which is known as RWA45 Acoustic Installation and, and I'm using this in each stud wall so combined I'll have a total thickness of a 150 millimetres which is um, a really good amount and to be fair it's more than I have in our house. Um, there's lots of insulation options out there. Uh, after lots of research I found that the RWA45 had a really good sound absorbent property balanced with not being too expensive. Another nice thing is that it is also compliant with the non-combustible requirements set by building control I previously mentioned in the video on wall construction that ideally you want to stick with 600mm centres in your verticals so that all of your materials line up with industry standard sizing. The insulation is 600mm wide so it fits nicely into the gaps in the walls with a slight bit of compression but it provides a nice snug fit and doesn't fall out. A key thing to mention is that you don't want to over compress the insulation or really pack it into gaps as it compromises its actual properties. The ceiling joists are 400mm centres so you do have to do a bit more cutting there but it's just nice to not have to cut every single slab if you try to stick with industry standard sizing which uh, will also come into handy later on when we come to do the plasterboarding. I found the best way to cut it was using a fine wood saw. Make sure that you wear gloves and a face mask as it's irritating stuff to touch and it's not something you want to be breathing in. I'm not planning on a video covering the electrics specifically so I'll talk a little bit about this now. I've put in place all of the first fix for the lighting mains and media cabling. You can see I've fixed them all here with cable clips to the studs and um, what I'm planning on doing is having an electrician come by who will check all of the wiring before I enclose everything and then they'll come and install the consumer unit and connect it to the mains consumer unit in the house and then certify everything. So the good thing is I've been able to save a bit of labour by doing all of this myself and I happen to have some cabling already from a previous job. Whenever you plan to fix something to the wall, uh, in my case on the back wall here there's going to be a TV unit, make sure you fix some OSB or some stud work so that you've got some solid fixings to hang the brackets on uh, rather than just on the plasterboard. I also decided not to go for the quick fix plasterboard socket boxes mainly because I couldn't find any which are designed to fit against two layers of 15mm plasterboard. Uh, and secondly, I had a few packs of the metal boxes left over for another job. So um, I used some OSB uh, wherever I want the sockets and I fixed these boxes directly to the OSB. They are proud um, on the basis that I know that the plasterboard is going to go up against them and overall they will end up being flush or set back from the walls.
final job, which is really important not to overlook, is to apply a vapour barrier before applying the plasterboard. The main reason is that it stops moisture from inside the room seeping through the walls, getting caught in the insulation and going damp and rotting the walls from the inside. Adding a simple vapour barrier, which, which really costs a few pounds, is going to add a tremendous amount of life expectancy to the build. The other added benefit, if it's applied and sealed correctly, is that it's going to help make the room airtight, which of course is important for reducing sound escaping. Once I've um, applied each face, I'm overlapping the sides and I'm using some aluminium tape to seal all of the gaps. I had most of the roll left over from sealing the vapour barrier in the concrete foundation. So that's now all of the insulation in, the electrics first fix and the vapour barrier. So we're now ready for the next phase which is plasterboarding and where the room will finally start to take shape. So thank you very much for watching, thanks for liking, subscribing, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you soon in the next one.